Uptown Greenville shop and restaurant owners say ECU's extended spring break is going to have an effect on their revenue. Many of them rely on students for the bulk of their business. WNCT's Ariana Kraft continues our team coverage tonight live from ECU. And Ariana, what do those owners expect to happen? Ken, Shayla, it's clear after speaking with several employees and managers today that this extended spring break will crimp their sales. ECU students understand why the university is changing its plans. And I think it's necessary if the university finds that it's important, then I'm on board for it. Living in Greenville, I think it'll be interesting to see how the businesses and the students adapt to it, but I mean, we have to take necessary precautions. Whenever students leave town, stores feel the impact. Anytime school's out, we slow down, for sure. And uh, anytime they come back is when we have a a peak. But it's difficult for owners and workers to know what this break will do. It will be a decrease, definitely. Um, but at the same time, all of the all of the customers that come here are not college students. So I don't I'm not sure exactly how big it will be, but I think it will be noticeable. Coronavirus has many people conflicted. Part of me feels like there's a lot of fear um, going on, and just because it's so unknown, that kind of kindles the fear. Um, and so I think once we learn more about the virus and how it spreads and how to prevent it, and we have uh, a vaccine, then people will be less afraid. But of course, there are people losing their lives. So I, I think precaution is not unjustified. One thing these business owners are encouraging their customers and employees to do is to stay clean. They say frequently wash your hands and stay home if you're sick. Live in Greenville, Ariana Kraft, 9 on your side.